had the ice cream truck just blow through your village or where you live and you miss it? Well, I'm going to show you how to make a delicious banana milkshake from everything that you have on hand. Whenever my bananas start turning, I put them into the freezer in a bag just like this and I use them for banana breads, egg substitutes, all kinds of things. And you're going to need some milk for this, about a cup some ice cream, I have French vanilla, and a couple of frozen bananas, and it's going to be a great frozen treat. We're having a really nice mid-70 degree day, and I thought my kids for dessert would love some banana milkshake. Grab yourself an ice cream scoop, and you're going to scoop it out, ice cream, and pop it right into the blender. And with the frozen bananas, you are not going to need any extra ice cubes, even though I keep a couple of stacks of ice cube trays full in my freezer at all times. Three to four scoops of ice cream is what you'll need. You like to buy Stewart's ice cream on sale? And they usually have flavors on sale all the time. And it's the only place in my area where I can get a full gallon of ice cream. Now we're going to drop in the bananas and some milk. Frozen bananas are much different than non-frozen bananas. So what I did is I just banged them on the counter a little bit, like a jar, trying to open it up. And they peel right away. Dump it on in to your blender. I'm going to do two bananas because I'm going to be doing banana bread or banana muffins this week. I haven't decided which. Probably muffins because my family doesn't eat a lot of the banana bread. Just make sure you get all the peels off. Drop it into the blender. My kid got a banana milkshake at the ice cream place and it was expensive. Oh my goodness. So we're going to make homemade ones. And you're going to pour in milk until it covers just above the ice cream. And so it will blend. I think it's a little over a cup. You're going to want to make sure you keep your bananas frozen, so put your extra away. I'll be freezing my bananas all the time now. You can do strawberry banana ice, some shakes if you wish. And then you're going to look for the shake feature. And put the lid on. And you're going to blend it until it's done. You will have it on for about two to three minutes. I put it on high for about 60 seconds so the bananas are completely blended within to the ice cream and the milk. Take a peek in now. And get a wooden spoon and check it. You can open up this part here. You stick your spoon in. Yep. 
Nothing solid. It is perfect. Now we can pour I'll go some. ahead and pour some in. It's a little thick here. So what I'm going to do is just take this part off so we can get it into the cup. Not making a mess. I'm going to add a little bit of cool it to it. Make it fancy. And there's enough for a third for my other kid if they decide they want to try the banana milkshake. Scoop out your Cool Whip. Dump it on in. Much better than the canned. Get a couple of tall straws. Drizzle in some chocolate and you got a perfect homemade banana milkshake. Take your chocolate and just drizzle a little in. Banana milkshake. Don't forget, when we get to 1,300, we're going to issue out two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards, one for new subscribers, one for people who comment. We're also looking for 13 more subscribers to give out one five items price pack from the Dollar Tree, valued at $625. The rules are for the giveaways. If you're new, comment, say anything you want. Stay in community guidelines in the comment section down below. You have to be subscribed and a U.S. resident. If you comment all the time, you have to be subscribed and a U.S. resident, and you have not won in the past 60 days. If you do not respond to my notification you've won in 48 hours, you are disqualified and a new person will be chosen. Easy DIY banana milkshakes from everything you have in your freezer to your blender to your glass. Enjoy.